Hi everyone, this is Billy. I finished set up my big loop antenna coils. The red one is the horizontal three type big loop antenna coil. And there's another vertical big loop coil hanging next to my window, the white one. Then there's another one, uh, a copper one behind it. So I got three coil. Let me show you what it look like. This is my bedroom and that's the window. So I hang the red one on the top. That's one, two feet away from the ceiling. And then the, the ring one, the vertical one, like that. They are both uh, 1.2 meter coils. The diameter is 1.2 meter. And then the copper one, that is this one, is uh, a one meter coil. Oh, I should move it a little bit closer so it won't be impacted by the walls so much. So you may ask why I have two ring coil for the AM medium wave because I got two transmission stations in my neighborhood. The one you are seeing now is at the other side of the ocean on one of the remote islands there transmitting a powerful AMMW carrier for uh, it got three stations transmitted from there but then on the other side of my room like in the uh, toilet facing the toilet this side of my room behind the mountain there there is another transmission station transmitting three other stations because I'm far far away from there those stations are very weak and I need different ways to receive those stations so the vertical coil this one can receive stations from the sea and the horizontal coil have a much stronger reception for the stations coming from the other side coming from the toilet side of the mountain so that's why I hang two different coils for the for receiving different AM MW stations. And then there's one more antenna in my room. This is the uh, FM Yagi antenna. Uh, it's just one element reflective antenna. And all three of the coils connects to my DIY AM shortwave FM crystal radio. I just bought a very antique uh, box. They are not really antique, but I remake of the antique tube radios from centuries ago. Uh, it's a remake from ch some China manufacturer. So I just take out the original circuit board which can only receive AM and FM and mounted my own gear many of which I have already shown you <clears throat> in some of my videos at the basic MOSFET circuit for FM, AM and shortwave I have a free gain aluminium vacuum uh, I mean air variable capacitor which has quite good Q factor uh, we need to uh, undust it later on because it's getting getting some cracky sound then I got a big uh, 50 micro ampere meter and then the impedance matching transformer the KPB02 I got the uh, connection terminals for fitting any coil into my circuit whether it's an AM or shortwave but I need a special circuit for the FM so that's why I got my own circuit board here for the FM with a small copper coil and a MOSFET as the detector this is a small horn speaker which I seldom use because I never get signal strong enough to power the speaker okay so today I will test 
both of the uh, big loop coil I can just turn this band switch to connect to the different coil and each coil will pair up one of the three variable capacitor gains that I got and this is the FM tuner AM short wave tuner this is the fan switch for the different resonance circuit that I can choose okay let me hook up uh, my gears first if you've been following my videos you know that I will use this type of small transformers that uh, I can convert the impedance to match with the iPhone's microphone jack so this other side I got the iPhone's lighting connector that I can use to record the video I need to get the uh, lighting to analog converter from Apple store then I chop out the cable and just reconnect it to the transformer so I got a passive impedance matching there's no active component there no battery nothing no amplification nothing and the input to that transformer will be coming out from the output jack of this crystal radio and, and I can use this piezoelectric or ceramic earbud which is made out of a ceramic microphone or a piezoelectric microphone I find this the most sensitive earphone I have got so far. So I will plug in the earphone, this earbud. Then the other end I will plug into the crystal radio. And then later on we'll do some recording and testing. Okay. I'm now testing the vertical back loop, this one. Hello, uh, it can receive around four stations. Most of the stations are coming up from the ocean side. Now I'm switching over to test the horizontal back loop coil on the ceiling. products with other foods. You may find you can tolerate milk better this way. Check the labels on dairy products to see how contain before buying the food. You may digest yogurt more easily than milk since the bacteria that make it also produce the enzyme lactase. This breaks down part of the milk sugar in yogurt for you. Will make it easier for you to digest. You can also try non-dairy substitutes. There are tofu products that some people find similar to ice cream, and a special milk-like product made with soy. These foods don't have the same nutrients as
高交易所的前端，可能得会受攻破。而我们引进制程的工作，就是弥合技术信任和系统信任之间的这道鸿沟。I can receive around six stations and two more stations that I can't receive before, which is coming from the mountainside. So I think this setup will work for me. I can switch between the stations coming from the sea and the stations coming from the mountain. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. If you like my video, please continue to support me by subscribing, liking, give me some comments. Your interaction will generate a lot of uh, good feedback, which will help me develop my channel. I also got a Patreon site. If you like, you can download some of the products, which are mostly 3D printing design files that you can print from your printers and make these radios just like what I show you. Or you can pay for a little amount to download some of the more complicated models for my previous radios. Thanks a lot. This is Billy C. DIY signing off, 73.